The response to the Infinity Mirrors exhibit has been overwhelming. Ticket sales to that collection at the High Art Museum, they have crashed websites selling out in just minutes. Really is amazing and it's also ignited a conversation surrounding art and mental health. Our Karen Greer has more. Known as the princess of polka dots, Yoyoi Kusama's art is as vibrant and whimsical as it is transformative. The wildly popular Infinity Mirrors is a collection of her 60 plus year career featuring endless lights, mirrors and spotted fixtures. Her work really speaks to people. I think it must be that reason that she has used it to overcome challenges. It's a conversation about her work that's fueling a unique awareness about mental health and how art can play a role in coping and healing. From tweets of support like this one by the National Alliance of Mental Illness Glitter. to Kusama-themed art therapy classes. So if you actually want to sculpt today, you can do that. Her work is a reflection of a long struggle with mental illness that the 89-year-old has never shied away from discussing. For the last 40 years, Kusama's voluntarily lived at a Tokyo asylum that specializes in art therapy. She had been using her art as therapy really from the beginning. Producer Karen Johnson and director Heather Lentz spent 14 years working on the documentary Kusama Infinity. When she did the early dot paintings, those were visual manifestations of her hallucinations. It took my breath away. Art therapist Phoebe Wisnott says art has been used as a form of therapy since the 1940s, but only recently started gaining popularity as a practice. Well, oftentimes an individual is experiencing emotions or thoughts that can be very difficult to put into words. And art is a nonverbal form of expression that allows them to show what anxiety feels like, what hope and recovery looks like to them. Wisnot helps run the art therapy program at Skyland Trail, a treatment facility. Just pull your paints first. I checked out a class where a group who had visited the exhibit were creating their own take on Kusama's art. Their faces are blurred to protect their privacy. The sharing and the discussion is a huge part of the therapy session. That um, gives the clients the opportunity to reflect on the artwork, take a step back, and that's what helps them have those aha moments. Wisnot says stigma surrounding mental health remains, but the increased interest in Kusama is a move in the right direction. She's able to give hope to others once they get the right treatment that they can really make a valuable contribution. The sold out exhibit ends February 17th, but you can catch the documentary Kusama Infinity February 13th at the High Museum of Art. For more information on art therapy, just tap on our free CBS 46 app. For CBS 46 News, I'm Karen Greer.